Hello, this is Mark McElroy. I'm here at the Electric Cave Recording Studio in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, showing you a uh, new AEG mod. Um, this is a great mic, as you can hear. It's uh, originally, the body is originally a uh, KME, MKE, sorry, KMKE 9, which is a, uh, it kind of looks like almost like a handheld close address microphone like a 58 or a 57 but it's actually a uh, one inch diaphragm tube condenser microphone uh, in typical Lomo fashion crammed into a small body uh, because Lomo made their microphones uh, in, uh, primarily for use in film and television so you, you'll notice they're all as compact as they can be to be uh, you know, kind of hidden away so uh, this mic is um, like I said, an AEG mod. The original microphone had a solid state um, preamp with a different capsule. They took a vintage Lomo one inch capsule, put it in here, and uh, built a Lomo preamp using an original Lomo transformer, uh, their own power supply, and uh, made this wonderful mic. Uh, it's a great way, uh, you know, everyone's interested in the 1919s but they cost a lot of money. And this is a great way to get the Lomo sound without spending uh, much more than you would on an Asian-made uh, um, Neumann copy of some sort. So, um, let's just uh, run through some uh, few vocals so you can hear it. But it's also great on guitars, uh, great on fiddles and strings and mandolins and stuff like that. It's a great all-around microphone. Having that one-inch diaphragm, it's, n it's neither huge, you know, big or nor small. Um, so it's, uh, it's great in between for everything. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, how about a Rolling Stone song? Something loud. Um, ooh, tell me why you wait so long. Ooh, tell me why you wait so long. Watch you. Back home! Back home! So I did that because I wanted to push it to its limits a bit. Um, get loud and show you how the compression works. It really uh, grabs onto the sound. We're not using a compressor. This is straight to a computer. So um, this microphone, it's nice to throw on a little two to one maybe, but you don't really need compression to get a great sound out of it, especially for that upfront vocal sound for an upfront... Uh, uh, anything and if you're recording a guitar or something you don't want up front when you set that in the background it's just nice and even and hearable and clear um how about uh, a croony type song somewhere over the sea somewhere waiting for me my lover stands on golden sand uh, you'll notice that uh, as I, you know, kind of use these different dynamics and different mm, styles, um, the sound's pretty even, uh, hearable. Very, you know, you hear the dynamic, but uh, you get that up close sound, and that's kind of the, the Lomo. That's why a lot of people have commented, "Wow, this Lomo microphone's unlike anything else." It was. Um, uh, they were very inspired by a AKG and Neumann, of course, but uh, they, they really had their own thing too. Uh, what figures into this a lot is Lomo is a company that made um, high-end microscopes and uh, for scientific use, high-end, um, you know, the optics for satellites and all sorts of things. So making a microphone, um, and they made um, uh, motion picture cameras, and that's why they were making microphones for film sound. But uh, their microphone division was a big part of Lomo, but they are just uh, um, space grade um, uh, quality uh, goes into uh, their, their workmanship and into their parts. Uh, all military spec, metals. It just started raining out. Maybe you can hear that coming through. It started raining hard. All right. So, um, sorry to get distracted there. Once again, 
This is the Lomo uh, AEG modded K MKE9. Um, you can buy it. Uh, hopefully, if there's one, these are one offs because uh, you can't always find the parts. But uh, hopefully, you can buy it. Um, you can check out uh, Microphone Boutique on Reverb.com. You can check out uh, on Facebook. You can go to the Facebook page, Microphone Boutique, AEG Moscow, and um, and get in contact that way. There's a bunch of videos there with a lot of other microphones. There are schematics if you need them. That kind of thing is a great place for Lomo uh, interested people to uh, to check out. So thanks for listening. Have a good day.